How fast is the MacBook Air M1? Well, I've carried out a speed comparison test with my MacBook Air M1 versus my old Asus laptop. And I bought my Asus laptop back in 2014. So it's eight years old now, but I've been using it right up until I bought my Apple Mac Air a few months ago, because in its day, my Asus laptop was very good spec and still is good enough for everyday use, but it does struggle now with my YouTube video demands and it's noisy too. So that's the reason why I upgraded to the MacBook Air M1, which is also completely silent. So let's go ahead with this speed comparison test. And in this speed test, I'll show you how fast each of these laptops are at processing the same one gigabyte size video footage into a 4K video. Okay. Let's click start now. There you go. Well, you can see straight away the difference. I mean, we have got here one minute, 11 seconds remaining. Whereas here we've got 12 minutes, 12 and a half minutes remaining. Now the video editing software I'm using on both laptops is the same. It is Cyberlink PowerDirector. And on my MacBook Air M1, I'm using the PowerDirector 365, which I do not recommend because it's been a complete nightmare. And I can go into more detail about that on another video. But uh, I have since uh, started using Final Cut Pro, which is much better, much more stable. And that's only available on Apple's operating system. You can't get it on Windows. So that's another good reason to go ahead and buy the MacBook Air M1. And here's some benchmark speed scores, which show that there's not a lot of difference between the MacBook Air M1 and MacBook Air M2, just 10% difference in the benchmark score. And that's why I chose the cheaper MacBook Air M1 over the M2. So here we are, seven seconds to go for the MacBook Air M1. And it's done. And that took one minute, 43 seconds. Whereas here, we've still got another 10 minutes to go. That's easily 10 times faster. If you like this video, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.